All right, all right, welcome back to another album review. Now today, the album we're going to be literally going through is Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morrell and the Big Steppers. And let me tell you something, this is probably one of the few albums that I've never really reviewed as far as Kendrick-wise, publicly. Um, like I said, so this is the second time that I'm publicly reviewing um, Kendrick Lamar's albums, at least one of them. But, uh, to fill you in on what I actually have on Kendrick Lamar, um, as far as anything, he has been giving established, uh, albums beyond in, um, between an 8.9 to the 9 scale range, at least around there. And he's been doing that for a long time, and that has not even changed at all. So, without a further ado, let's get us into this one. Now, um, there will be another video coming out a little later today to talk about another thing about this album because there was um, a lot of controversy on this album, uh, and then people are really turning their backs on Kendrick with this one. So, um, I will be addressing that in the next video, and plus, um, uh, giving you guys a lesson on, um, a few things, is all. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so, uh, we have a lot to cover here, so obviously you guys already know. Um, let's get started with the lyrics themselves. So, we're gonna start with the United in Grief, and I'm gonna tell you one thing. Um, United in Grief was probably one of the very good starts to the entirety of the album, because it actually did, um, open up a lot of things of how you can deal with grief and all that stuff, and he pretty much portrayed it in a way where um, you can deal with grief, but in a different way, so pretty much he's just going to portray the United in Grief in general, so he's just pushing that out as an introduction to the album, which is very, very good to do. Um, now, uh, next one we have is N95, N95 to be specific, and that got a 9.1. This was a solid track, and I really, really respected that one on that point. Um, Worldwide Steppers, solid track. Um, Dead, excuse me, Die Hard. <laughs> um, Die Hard, 8.9. Very solid track. Bonus points for the last few things that were actually added on there. Thank God. That was actually really, really good. Um, Father Time, again, 8.7. And with Rich Interlude, also actually hit an 8.7, which was really not that bad because um, the speech that Kodak Black actually made was actually really, really good. And it pretty much helps understand his perspective on the rich side of things. So, obviously, this is a good way to pave your wavelength into the next song, which is Rich Spirit. So, I really appreciated this one. This one was really, really good. So, nevertheless, this was a good interlude in an introduction to the next song, which was Rich Spirit, and that got an 8.8, .8 because, let me tell you again, solid track, and it actually had a few bonuses there. Again, that's what exactly what I like about uh, Kendrick with this. He knows how to actually keep things very consistent with the above average and most importantly the super good album making songs so he's really really good with that uh we cry together that got a nine that was actually really really good that was really really good and a very solid album overall he even had a ton of um flow changes and a ton of rhythm that was really 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 touching bass with the album and the song itself which did really really well with it so yeah overall a nine um purple hearts 9.2 shout out to the people that actually featured in that track i forgot the actual names Ooh, i better hope editor me make sure that they he puts the name in here because i forgot <laughs> like prior to this so count me out uh did really good 8.9 uh, Crown, 9.1, because the reason they get a 9.1 is because the bonus points were mostly about how he is basically looking into not only his own, like, subconscious of himself, but he's also literally 
looking at the same person that had the crown on his head, that literally went through that entire vibe of being the savior, and most importantly, being the person that literally went through um, the poverty, and most importantly, every single part of his childhood up to this point to now. And most importantly, it kind of portrays a lot of things about how there are times where when you make a face for yourself, you have to look deep into that and ask yourself, was that me? And K dot with that crown specifically kind of makes a prime example of that to that certain degree, which is something that I've always said before, not to everybody else, but mostly to the people like that I talk to on a day-to-day basis. I've always said that K dots and here's the other thing that means K dot's shadow is that particular picture itself. Like, people need to understand that K-Dot's shadow is that picture itself, and it need to be shown in the limelight. So, that was a really solid, solid song, and that helped out a whole lot. Now, going up to Silent Hill, it was a solid track with him and Kodak Black, and it got an 8.5. Not particularly bad, particularly bad. It was a solid one. It was average. So, we'll leave it at that. Um, Savior interlude of this uh, was with Baby Keem, and my God, he did really good with this. He did really, really good with this. And shout out to him, and let's give a round of applause to him, man. He did really, really well with this speech for this interlude, and I really appreciate him doing this because he did give his perspective on what um, he means to K Dot and what he actually does for a lot. And what he has gone through throughout his entire life. So I really appreciate that uh, that perspective of him. And that's where Savior comes in, which gets a 9.2. Because God help me, this song literally portrays exactly what I was talking about. About him being a savior. Because a lot of people need to understand that K-Dot, and as far as Compton, I, I respect K-Dot fans for the love of me. And anybody who actually respects him from Compton. But there are times where I have to say this for the benefit of the doubt. He was never a savior for any. Well, I wouldn't say for anyone. But there are times where I have to say you can't rely on him to be a savior for everybody in the black community. There have been multiple times where he spoke on this. And the reason he didn't literally decide to not like speak up with the Black Lives Matter movement and all that stuff. Is because he's already spoken about it on his tracks and maybe in other interviews he's already done this he's done his job and now he was already literally saying like yo i did my job y'all got to do the same thing i don't got time to literally repeat the same thing that i've already said before there's no point so again good way of portraying how this would be like put out so i really appreciate him putting this out because this was really really good now the next one is Auntie Diaries, which touched on a subject on the LGBT, LGBTQ community, and this particular part was mostly on transgenders, and a lot of people really had a problem with this, and I looked over the track over it, and the way he displays uh, his perspective of what he thought about his aunt, and it says a lot, because a lot of times there are portrayals of certain things that have to be said. Because otherwise, you do not know their perspective on things. You really do not know their perspective. So, he was not offending transgender people in this. He wasn't. He was literally giving his perspective on what he was doing when he was around his aunt. He literally was giving that perspective on that. Simple as that. But back to the original thing but overall this um every single part of this track was amazing uh it did really really well so this was an 8.9 so i give him the bonus points on that and uh given a good portrayal of that so again really good solid um song <sighs> god help me i'm really trying to go through everything mr morale again very very good song very good song 
this got a 9.1. Same with Mother I Sober. Um, this was a this was a very good song, very good song, and it gave a little bit more perspective and abrupt with it. So I really appreciate him literally giving um, a bit more um, context towards it. And this was what I was talking about with evolution and how he changed over time because mental awareness is very very important with shit like this otherwise it will be a huge issue with it but nevertheless um i'll definitely say that both of them got a 9.1 and then mirror to end the album which was really really good to end the album got a nine so needless to say if you live if you literally add up all of them together 160.8 now when you do that make sure to divide that by 17 and you get 9.4 for the lyrics obviously artistry did super well with this one i really appreciate him doing this creativity still the same i mean like i said the creativity has always been the same since he's been around like ever since i've been doing these album reviews he's always had nine out of ten creativity that's always been him um rhythm patterns nine out of ten um, I think the last time it was actually a little bit more towards the 8.9 mark, but now it's a full on nine because he actually did really good with this when it comes to the rhythm patterns. He did super well with the production of this. He did super well. So I appreciate that. So that is definitely 100% a nine. Um, flow, 100%. He did really, really good with this. This was a 9.5. Uh, it was originally a nine for the previous album that he did. So I'm. Like I said, there were certain things that were like not exactly up to par to get a 9.5. So I'm glad that that increased with this one. So I really appreciate that. Uh, figurative language also had an 8.9 out of 10, which um, reluctantly it's been the same since the last album. So eh, what a surprise. So that will give him a 9.2. And the way, again, for those of y'all who don't pay attention my shit the way that is literally supposed to be dead is that you add them all up and then you get 55 and then divide that by six and that's how you get a 9.16 aka and round that up that's 9.2 see very very simple but um anyways that will be all for this album review i really appreciate y'all being here this was really really good this was a really good album i really appreciate everyone stopping by to watch this and all that stuff so um i will have an again i will have another upload coming up um talking more about this uh particular album um but anyways uh it's been that guys later